Hello and welcome to Royal Vibes. Meghan Markle's necklace sparked uncomfortable call from Palace, leaving her distraught. Before we get right into that story, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure to subscribe, give the video a like and watch it right up to the very end. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry managed to keep their relationship secret for several months as they fell in love. However, once the news broke, fans around the world were on the lookout for clothes. Like many members of the royal family, Meghan Markle uses her clothes and jewelry to send messages and promote causes she is passionate about. When on royal tours, she often wore items from local businesses to promote their work, and she is a big fan of, you know, engraved pieces. However, one of the sentimental items caused a royal role with royal advisors and resulted in an uncomfortable phone call, which she told friends left her feeling emotional. The piece in question was a 14 karat gold chain by Maya Bren, which featured um, M and H stamps believed to cost around $300. It was a gift from Prince Harry when things started to get serious between them. In their biography Finding Freedom, authors Omit Kobe and um, Caroline Durban claimed and eight advised Meghan not to wear this kind of jewelry, saying it would only encourage the press. They write, she was advised that wearing such a necklace only served to encourage the photographers to keep pursuing such images and new headlines. The claims that Meghan was upset by the call, saying that she said very little why on the phone, she is, um, instead choosing instead to simply listen to the counsel. They write, but after hanging up, she felt frustrated and emotional. While she knew the aide had good intentions, the surreal experience of having someone from her boyfriend's office tell her what kind of jewelry to wear or not to smile at a photographer was too much. They said she felt distraught and damned if she did and damned if she didn't. Megan reportedly discussed the incident with a friend saying that I can't wait. The make out like I'm to blame for these pictures that but it looks like I'm encouraging them that me even acknowledging the cameras may not be sending the right message. I don't know what to say. It was only yesterday that people online were saying I look miserable in pictures because I was trying to just ignore the photographers. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.